starting off with a coffee at Quick Trip. Went with the 20 ounce. It's interesting because you don't get the regular Karuba cup on a 20 on a 20 ounce. You get it on the 24, the 16, or the 12. So it's it's the Packer cup on the 20, and I always I always go for the 20 because yeah, the 24 is a little big. An early walk and talk just after 707 Father's Day Sunday. Welcome to this week's Walk and Talk. As a recording of this Sunday, June 16th, Father's Day, Father's Day Sunday, 2024. I almost said 2026. Whoa, it's the 16th. Got a coffee here early in the morning. We're gonna head to Walmart first. Gonna check out some things. Why is Arcade One Up creating FOMO? What is going on? Have you seen some cabinets being sold out? People are freaking out, and then all of a sudden. They're showing up at multiple places. We'll talk about that in this week. Join me for this walk and talk. Father's Day walk and talk. It's good. It's hot. The 20 ounce is the way to go. I want to get the 24 because you know how much coffee we're going to drink, but not saying this is going to be the only coffee we get today. Nonetheless, let's get started. Construction update is still going on everywhere. New spot, new construction. Man, is there a spot that they're not doing construction in Wisconsin? Walmart trend continues because this Walmart has arcade one-ups on display. It's hard to find nowadays. And if you're a current Walmart shopper, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, in the beginning, Walmart did have arcade one-ups. Like every Walmart, that's where you saw them for the first time. That's where I saw them for the first time. And it's looking pretty good that Best Buy is gonna continue being you know pretty much the official retailer for the deluxe cabinets that's how it's looking on the last arcade one promo it's like where's walmart in all of this it just takes me back and i've stated this before that this is how i used to get my slime you know in the in the mid 80s late 80s this was always like the go-to like you get one thing at the at the store right it's always one thing you could try to con your parents there's the uh, claw machine over there and it always was the, the 25 cent, now it's the 75 cent. And a little, little packet of uh, a slime capsule. Also, I noticed this, the last couple of trips at Walmart, the grab and go, like this whole little area over here, it's kind of a newer setup of just, you ever had these, these famous Amos chocolate chip cookies? I think these are, uh, I'm a sucker for, for chocolate chip cookies, these are, one of my my favorites along with the Keebler Chips Deluxe that has the uh, M&Ms in it, but yeah, chocolate chip. It's a interesting spot, you know, having having everything over here, then you you have the typical groceries over here. I don't know if it's just because of Father's Day, but you see father and son right here. The arcade one up display still remains at this Walmart. You never know. You know, you you're walking through here, I started off from that end. Kind of worked my way through the electronics. You feel this at every Walmart as you're as you're going by where all the video games are. That are they gonna have arcade one up or not? And they still have it. They have the display along with the Blue Miz Pac-Man, the Pac-Man and one riser. There were a couple of risers here the last time we stopped. Just gotta wonder what the plan is with Walmart going forward as arcade one up continues to build the FOMO, like create FOMO for us. Thinking something sold out, then to bring it back, people jump on it, they lower the price, they raise the price. You know, it's kinda a roller coaster with Arcade One Up right now. I always wondered what this was. I thought it was one of those packs, like you get a t-shirt, you get something, but no, it's four Foot Clan action figures. And I haven't seen this for a long time. This one just kinda sitting around here in kind of the uh, okay, yeah the collectible spot, it looks like four Foot Clan. Here they are, and then and then the weapons it does have that like Nintendo vibe, doesn't it? Oh, and the Super Mario Brothers collector's bundle. What's inside? A vinyl figure, a journal with a pen, a plush throw blanket, and a pin set. Age 35 plus. Might as well just put a big four zero plus after that. And this is pretty cool. It's like 2488. Be one of the last rock studies we see. Look at this. Remember the uh, 
the Ninja Turtles series early 2000s. Like I had this for Xbox. You know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That new uh, theme song. I haven't seen this. Looks like 2023. Because I've been sitting here this long and we just kept walking past it. Because you got the uh, Mutant Mayhem, kind of the OG figures. Even the movie star, I was going to say the movie real, the movie star figures. It's harder and harder to find the McFarlane superpowers. All they have left is Batman. We've had some success here in the past. There was something else. Oh yeah, the Invisible Jet. It's becoming harder and harder to see this too. Oh, this is good. The Star Trek kind of caught my eye. Iron Man, take being a great father to new heights. Look at this. I think I'm gonna get this one for my stepdad. For the record, I think this is the best gift card to go with. All right. We're all set for Father's Day. Gonna stop out at my parents later today. It's kind of why we started the video so early. I drove over something, I don't know if it was sharp, but it made a noise, like, and I thought I avoided it. It was just right down the road. I'm kind of a little worried walking up to the car. Just make sure there's no flat tire. Yeah, and it made a clunk, and I think it was this side of the car, and I'm not seeing anything, so I guess we're good to go, thank God, because Man, I thought I avoided it and I just heard this big clunk and I don't know what it was, but it looked like something like maybe like a ratchet or something. Look at downtown Milwaukee. You can see American Family Field over here where the Brewers play. It used to be Miller Park. Pretty light traffic on Father's Day. Just after 8, 8, 12, Sunday morning back here next weekend. Kenny Chesney's coming to town. Maybe we'll do a uh, wristbands required. Weather has dramatically changed. It was just sunny out on our way. But dare I say maybe another Walmart, maybe a Target. And yeah, it just keeps getting darker and darker the closer we get. I'm leaving my tripod in the car. Not because I'm worried about filming at Walmart. Actually, it's been pretty pretty smooth lately. It's just, there's nowhere to put this in the cart and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna take the camera in and the rain's starting to fall. Walmart, if you're watching, we need cup holders here because first of all, I would like to have a coffee in here. Sometimes I gotta kinda sandwich it in here, but yeah, there's nowhere to hold the tripod. So just taking the camera. Came here first before Target because I wanted to catch Kelly and she just left. So, getting the list of what I need to pick up for the rest of the week for groceries. Glad I kind of ran into her. I actually was going to go the other way, but I completely missed her. Holy cow, can you hear that? That is rain just pounding on the rooftop. Another reason about shopping at Walmart, I just want to throw out there between 8 o'clock in the morning and 10 o'clock, they don't play any music, so there's absolutely nothing unless you can hear the rain, the raindrops falling on my head, the rain falling on the roof. They don't play any music, so it's good to know. Sometimes the music kind of interferes with the video. Heading by the toys quick, I want to see what they have for the action figures. And if there's one of those LED 488 strips here, every time I see one, I pick it up. Okay, I think the rain just, just stopped. I don't, I don't hear it anymore, but what color do they have? I'm gonna get one, like every week. Just pick up one. I thought the yellow was, uh, you know, I'm like, oh, they got a different, I mean, they're all different colors in here. It's just that the, the purple represents the 10 foot, the yellow, 25, 50, 100 foot, 488. Never knows Jason and Freddie on the collectibles. They never come over this way. I'm always heading down this direction. I just saw the backside. Could have sworn I just saw those Wolverine Funko Pop figures. Maybe it was at the other Walmart. They do have a Batman here. If I find those Wolverine, like, I thought that was him for a second. Look at Colossus. Oh, what is this? This might be a good, I was gonna say, so it's a pin, look at, it's a big Colossus pin. This might be a good giveaway. I was thinking about the Wolverine Funko Pop figure, but just stumbling across this, you might see this kinda show up next week. I don't know if I wanna, I want to pass on this. There aren't any of the McFarlane superpowers, but look at how many. I, got a, I did pick up Axel the other night. He went to, going to a lot of Walmarts lately. 
I might have to head to a target just to kind of balance it out. It's not that I'm not shopping at Target, I'm just, get Altered Beast up there. I'm just shopping at Walmart for, for groceries and those LED strips. Not a lot of different action figures. I kind of thought that was the superpowers up there. It's becoming mm -hmm. limited. GameStop, on the other hand, are carrying a lot more of them and that's where I'm seeing stuff like the Brainiac ship, the Blue Beetle ship, and uh, more of the action figures. On Amazon, just to look at some of the arcade one-up Shack Jam back at $5.99. Some retailers are having it at $6.99. The FOMO that I'm creating for myself is, you know, do I pay $5.99 for Shack Jam? Like, I'm doing my best not to. You can see Blitz is $100 cheaper, but Star Wars is showing up on here, and it's got a hefty price on it. On a cabinet you thought would be sold out, not only is it not sold out, it's $6.99, only 20 left, so still 20 of them. And I paid $5.99 for mine, I mean, I think that's kind of a, I don't know, I, I kind of defended the fact that if you have a flight yoke or a steering wheel, why you can maybe start out at $5.99, but maybe $4.99 is the ideal price, but $6.99 for Star Wars, so you gotta wonder, like, not only are they creating FOMO, but will we see an XL? Will we see more of Star Wars? This retro cover, the Jetsons, the complete series, 1996. I actually walked past this, had to turn around, like, you know, when they when, when we're looking at retro, like, I, I am a sucker for it. We also got, they got Looney Tunes, complete platinum collection, Batman and Robin, ooh, the thunder, I can hear the thunder, and Police Academy, seven film collections, so, Citizens on Patrol, probably my favorite police academy. And this is what I meant, having the cup holder, you can put the tripod right here. Of course, I leave it in the car because it's raining so hard. I put the camera in my back pocket. Wanted to check out some of the Father's Day shirts. Stop at Target really quick because I do have cold stuff in the car. It's not super hot, but kind of on a time crunch here. See if it's kind of picked over. We got the amazing dad. And the graphic tees, 30% off. Looks like it ends today, so Anyone shopping at Target today can take advantage. Do have a nice X-Men 97 shirt. Now this one's good. We'll see if Kohl's shows up with Golden Tea again, showing up out of stock with the Kohl's cash going on. You get $100 if you spend the $4.99. Time will tell if they restock, but seeing some of the other cabinets showing back up, it's likely we'll see this at Kohl's again. Wonder if some of these sales will carry on through next week. Today being Sunday, still showing up with some of the clearance, 30% off, 15% off pricing. We'll see if it sticks around. These have been sticking around. I guess nobody nobody wants them because they probably never heard of either one of these guys. When they say exclusively only at Target, this is gonna be exclusively only at Target. This is this is tempting. Like, are we ever gonna see a Target Optimus Prime? An Autobot Bullseye. Not a very cheap price, $59.99, but see two of these remaining. Oh, this is cool. You know, I wonder if the back of this, so he's, it's like that little, you know, that little cassette tape. I wonder if it opens up like the first, nah, I don't think so. Well, it, it does, I can see the line. I wonder if it has the whole station like the first Optimus I ever got in the 1984. Pros and cons about shopping in the rain. One, no one's gonna be shopping, and two, I guess the con is you're gonna get drenched. What's the real story behind Golden Axe looking like it was sold out? JC Penney's was one of the last retailers to carry it. Then Pop Market shows up, all selling it for $4.49. You can see Home Depot has it. Actually, $4.69. Home Depot, $20 more. Wayfair, $4.49, I believe Best Buy also is carrying Golden Axe again. Like, what are they doing? Did they purposely make it look like these were all gone? I, I thought they were. I can't believe that they're still sticking around. Even I purchased, I mean, a matter of two, three months ago. I think it's got one of the best game lineups. Just missing a couple. There's a couple of Sega titles and we can all you know, argue which one those should be, but yeah, Wrestle War. You know, and I don't know who's playing it, but I just I think it's a great cabinet. And you gotta wonder how many Golden Axe 
are actually available. I wanna reiterate something. I did the review on Sabos's topper. Jester Tester told me that there's a switch here. So if you hold it down, you can adjust the lights. So I'm holding it right now, and you see how much darker it got? And if I hold it again, how much brighter it just got. So apologize for not nailing that on the review, but Jester Tester does have, kicking Loki's little cat bed here, Jester Tester does have the Star Wars topper, so he knew about that. I thought it was just an on and off switch. So yeah, if you're thinking about that topper, they will change like you can dim it I do have it set believe at the highest setting right now there was a question on the GI Joel inline booster how high is that control deck with the four inch boost we're coming in at 40 and a half inches and then it works its way up on that incline so if you do that mod you're gonna get four extra inches I believe it was 36 so yeah giving us 40 and a half not only is Golden Axe showing sold out, then now in stock, Killer Instinct was completely sold out as well. You're seeing Best Buy, Wayfair, JCPenney's. JCPenney's becoming one of those arcade one-up retailers all of a sudden. Pop Market even carrying Killer Instinct. So another case of what is going on with this FOMO. Did they actually sell out on Killer Instinct? Or was this a plan to try to sell these along with Golden Axe. And if you put in the new marquee, you make a bigger screen, you light up the coin doors, raise it up if it's not high enough. It is one of the highest control decks, but since we used G.I. Joel's inline riser booster, it does bring it up just a little bit higher. This was my way of bypassing buying the Pro, keeping the KI I bought, and I want to say it was about $4.99. Picked it up at Best Buy probably close, say two years next month. It's a fun cabinet. Don't have a lot of nostalgia for Killer Instinct. More nostalgia for Battletoads. I enjoy playing the Battletoads online, but it's funny how this was sold out and now here it is available again at $5.99. Do you wait? Do you purchase? Don't play into their hand. Hold out for a sale. Also, we got another mod coming to this Star Wars cab. Should get it this week. Pretty excited about what will change on our Buy Stuff Arcades 2023 Star Wars. At Quick Trip, I was gonna go in for a coffee. It looks like a madhouse in there. I'm gonna head over to my parents, maybe get a coffee on the way. Here's the other price, it's 326, 319, and 339 for diesel. Stopped raining out, changed my pants, I actually put on my new Kobe, so I ordered these around my birthday. I'm heading for a while. The Kobe 6, actually had these before. Got them on eBay, pretty good condition. So yeah, we've got the new Kobe's on, got a pair of dry pants on, and actually have a couple of the Black Panther t-shirts. Put another one on. Arcade 1-Up's next FOMO will probably be Attack from Mars. Currently, you can see it at Kohl's, Wayfair, HSN at $5.99. Also Walmart, $5.99. It's asking a little too much for this. Even I got my Marvel for less than $5.99 and you know, with at games out, you know, creating a FOMO on something like Attack from Mars, I think it's a $3.99 or less. I think the games are okay. It's more of that true pinball, but you know, I got Marvel because of Marvel. But you are getting, you know, the premier games, Attack from Mars, Fish Tales, The Getaway, Junkyard. I mean, we've seen these all over Medieval Madness. $3.99 or less. It's funny that these show up out of stock at Best Buy. You know, someone, what did they get that for? $1.26? And then it's coming right back at $5.99 again. Another cab I almost forgot all about is... The Atari Legacy Tempest at Target right now for $4.49. Where did they come up with these? Like, where have these been? I thought these were sold out everywhere. Like, maybe Amazon had, like, the last. They just magically show up. 
Sony 4K did tell me that you might want to stay clear of this one. They've had some issues because seeing it, you know, you kind of build up your own FOMO going, are we going to see another Atari Legacy? You know, this would look good in the room. Something to think about. Maybe not. Just want to throw out though, Target does have this for $4.49. Well, our final stop, gonna grab a coffee. We're in Concord at the general store. Probably been here over a year ago, last time. Slept my parents. Had a good time this Father's Day, but I need a coffee. And remember they had a pretty good flavor the last time we were here. The house blend and the rock star, I think it was the house blend the last time we were here. Don't forget your sleeve, I won't, because this is super hot. I have a different walk and talk, being Father's Day, having like massive rain showers. I was gonna say this was the rainiest walk and talk ever. Now it's like 90 degrees out, sun is out. Near the end of the day, just after three o'clock, Sunday afternoon, probably the hottest coffee I've had in a long time. Super hot, glad I could grab the sleeve. Don't fall for this FOMO. Like, as much as I want Shack Jam at $5.99, I'm gonna wait for something. Wait for it to come down a little bit. The same with Killer Instinct, Golden Axe. You know, it looks like it's sold out, then all of a sudden it shows back up. Don't pay too much. Plus, kind of holding myself to this. You know, right now, the 16th of June, nearing the NOD sale for At Games, the end of the month, end of June, we should see some discounts on the ALP. This is like burning my hand right now. I said I was gonna get it, so I'm holding myself to that. I have a spot for it in the office. I wanna get the At Games, I wanna get the ALP, and that's gonna prevent me from, you know, giving into some of my own foam. I'm gonna take some of my own advice here because uh, I'm expecting a sale. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Stick around for the giveaway. I'll see you guys next time. They do have a zoo here. They have the Concord Zoo and it's free. It's right next to the general store. I'd walk through there. It's got a nice petting zoo. Maybe we'll hit this the next time we come back. It's just super hot. And that coffee, boy. That is that is really hot. Like it was burning my hand. I'm back, Loki. It's Father's Day. It's Father's Day today. And we got Mr. West. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? You gonna light up some coin doors? How about golden tea? And it's back to back weeks of Frogger. Please leave a comment. PD7 Lucky's Gym will have this posted shortly. This could be headed your way. Probably looking at Friday shipping, so send you a message on Thursday. Good luck to everybody. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Happy Father's Day.